Hey guys. Amber did another way in at the doctor and we get to watch it in this vlog. You know what? I don't think for her dietitian appointments, she never mentioned that she gets weighed in. I don't think she did. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. And while you're there, hit like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel further, feel free to join the KGzers. Hi guys, my name is Kidney J. The J stands for jerk because my kidneys are a pair of jerks. And Amber Lynn up, up loaded a new one called Weigh In, comma, new goals, comma, dietitian with a C, appointment, and lawsuit, lawsuit vlog. Okay, so lawsuit, I'm just gonna let the cat out of the bag for you. Apparently, someone with the same name as her is involved in some car lawsuit. You know, let's cut to the, the clickbait uh, chase there. And she also plays with Swiss slime. Of course, we're not going to watch that because we're not seven. And if you're seven and watching this, go away. <laughs> All right, so let's get to this vlog. I actually have my dietitian appointment today. So it's just like a monthly weigh-in check in to see how I'm doing. Originally there was no goal, but I requested one. So it was lose one pound a week and to lose four pounds overall, obviously. And according to my scale, I have definitely done that. So I'm just interested to see with their scale and with me wearing clothing. I actually ended up weighing my clothing and it's like three pounds. So ma'am, that is ridiculous. Unless you have gold bouillon in your pocket, you know, inconsequential three pounds at 525 just saying i'm hoping that i reach the goal on their scale i have definitely been doing really good i have been weighing myself daily i want to give you guys a little update of my appointment first update is my hernia update and turns out that more than likely it is going to be fixed in surgery uh yes yeah, so amber surprised us that she has a hernia and i thought maybe it would get fixed during her weight loss surgery i think that's what she's saying here i know a lot of people from 600 pound life they get the hernia done with the weight loss surgery which makes sense second update is my gallbladder i still have to go get that checked i finally actually have a physical order to go and physically get my gallbladder checked so i only have that left to do before i can get approved for weight loss surgery i have to get another ekg and then i have to just finish these 12 sessions which i only have 9, 10, 11, 12, four more. So the next update is like my diet update. So as you guys know, my dietitian um, wanted me to do 2,200 calories to 2,500 calories. And she gave me some macro goals and I was following that. And she noticed and I noticed collectively that it was just too many calories. I know a lot of people sit here and think that with my weight, I should be able to eat 2,500 calories and lose weight like this. And that's just not realistic because I do have lipedema. I have a very, very, very bad case of lipedema. You guys have seen my legs. And lipedema is abnormal fat that does not want to go away no matter how much you diet. And it just wants to get bigger and collect more fat cells. And that is what I am struggling with. Uh, okay, so it's the lipedema again. Um, when she was first diagnosed with this, which I think was late last year, she was supposed to have a follow-up appointment. I don't think she ever did that. And I still have questions about this. Why doesn't she have the compression garments? Why, I, I assume this would be stuff that she would have to talk to the lipedema specialist about, but that never happened. Um, and she is gonna go on to say that her doctor is putting her on this lower calorie diet to manage the lipedema. And what I've heard from the com like comments below that can be managed if you manage it correctly. And on top of that, I also have lymphedema, which is a lot of fluid, like a lot, a lot, water retention. Lymphedema, which is obesity related. And we noticed that 2,500 calories is just too much for me. So instead of following any macros, she said, do not worry about that and just stick to an 1,800 to a 2,000 calorie so next is like an exercise update as you guys know i have been doing like these little exercises i showed you guys in a vlog before obviously i didn't physically show you just because i feel like self-conscious to do so but i am willing if my supporters want to see more of like the exercises i am doing she said that she does want me to continue to exercise uh two times a week my next appointment is already scheduled and it is around the exact same time where i have my last 
therapy session before I can get approved or whatever it may be for weight loss surgery. Um, so that next appointment is like reassessment to see what else needs to be done or if I am freaking ready for weight loss surgery. Uh, so the wording changes now. So after her uh, last therapy session, she still needs to be reassessed to see if she's done well in therapy as well as all the other tests um, to see if she's approved. So it's not four sessions and done. Got it. Now we just got to work on getting my lipedema and lymphedema on the same page as like my brain, my heart and like my calories. So that's why she did lower my calorie limit pretty drastically. So I should have taken a picture, but I do want to uh, tell you guys my weight from my scale at home. And then I want to show you guys because I did remember to film it, um, the weight that I had on the scale at the office. So my weight at home today was 521.8. So I was expecting to be around, I would say about 525. That is what I was expecting. So here is the clip. So there it is. So there it is. And then we can, uh, I guess, get a good idea what the difference between her scale is and what the scale says at the clinic. Most scales will vary. That doesn't mean your weight changes, obviously. You know, I go dialysis, I walk from one scale to the other, and I could be, you know, one kilo, 0.7 kilo less than the other scale. Doesn't mean I lost weight walking to the other scale. Um, yeah, so that's all her weight loss surgery updates. Uh, I guess her, she also says her next dietitian appointment is next month at the same time. So... We'll see what uh, what it is and if this new drastic calorie reduction throws her off. Probably. We'll see. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, thank you very much. Don't forget to uh, leave a like on your way out and I'll talk to you later. Bye.